Over a hundred years ago, a weather station was established on the top of Ben Nevis, and men lived up there recording weather data every single hour, right through every extreme of storm and snow and ice. And those old weather records are now being fed back into modern climate change models to help us get a better picture of what's happening to our climate and what might happen in the future. Um, anyway, I was fascinated with these Ben Nevis weather watchers uh, and I wrote this about them. We live on the bottom of the pond, where the giant physics of our world are just a muted echo, enough to answer baby questions. Do I take an umbrella on the train, pack the sunscreen? But up there, on the Ben, they witnessed weather's biggest business. Forces running between continents, arctic winds, an ocean's worth of moisture, irons, waves and currents that connect the centre of the earth, the sun, the solar system. They watched the big rules of the universe played out in brutal style. In May, snow deep enough to reach an upstairs window, freezing rain and mist that rhymed their hut into an otherworldly sculpture, an alien ship of crystals longer than your arm. Winds measured in the angle of their bodies, leaning up against their force, doubling the Beaufort scale. Wonders, glories, halos, concentric rings of light to hoop and dog the sun and moon their own heads flaming with St Elmo's fire. All of it set down in figures, 20 years of hourly snapshots that now can help us answer grown-up questions. What are we doing? What have we done? How can we be different? We must look up from the bottom of our pond, where we currently perambulate like larval dragonflies, focused only on the point at which our arms can grasp. Look up and see the picture that the weather watchers make that connects us to our world, to each other and the future we might live.